So welcome back for this first installment on building this uh, octave mandolin. Um, so uh, today what I'm doing is uh, creating the prints for this instrument. Uh, I, w I did a lot of research on to for dimensions and stuff and the first thing I have to lay out is the break angle which is where the strings are going to go over the bridge. After that I'm adding the 21 inch scale that Barry and I uh, agreed on. So uh, that's the length of his scale and then the mark in the middle is the 14 in uh, 14 uh, fret and the 14 fret is important because that's where the the fretboard or the neck will be meeting the body so I have to create the thickness the spacing in between the strings and the fretboard to be able to have that corner of the body meeting up with the bottom of the fretboard after that's done I'm creating the thickness at the back of the the instrument and it's a bit narrower at the front because there is a taper uh, I've started with a, a 2 inch so 92 degree uh, at the bottom of the heel block and that didn't work out that's usually what guitars are but because this body is a bit smaller uh, that didn't really work so I went to uh, 99 uh, degrees and that way I have a, a nicer taper that's what you can see me doing right now um, now I'm creating the the peg head so I had to add a bit of length to my my print paper and then uh, that's just a standard uh, side view of a peg head and the thickness are pretty standard um, and then I'm putting the heel on and and uh, all that uh, all that stuff that needs to be added there uh, this will be the side half of the the top view of the instrument so because I created the side view I can actually uh, bring down my uh, lines and I have uh, the proper dimensions uh, the exact dimensions that I just added at the top so I've got a the length of the body is 17 inches and 5 eighths and then I can start uh, adding the curves and and you'll see like it, it's it's a tedious process like you, you just start by some curves and then you you go around the whole shape and you move around it as well because you, you want to see all like it, it's it has to be appealing to the eye so uh, you, you'll see like I'll go back many many times just to readjust some lines and add some more curves because the the top of the instrument right now is fairly straight and uh, well we want to keep it straight but uh, we we might uh, be uh, I, I'm gonna add adjust th those lines as I go around um, one of the next step you'll see uh, the F all is already started it's because I needed my phone and I'm using my phone to do the time lapse right now so I kind of use the phone to have a rough idea of a shape that would work with this instrument and then uh, I've added it on the I, I, I reinstalled my phone and then I was able to use the time lapse why am I changing the location of this um, uh, those points it's because the the inner point lines up with the middle of the bridge it's it's pretty standard in mandolin building and mandola anyway so uh, I had to move it up a bit just to line up with the bridge and at the same time fill the the side of the instrument so it was ple pleasing to the eye so I, I started with just a, a standard uh, violin shape uh, and then violin shape or straighter and then I added the points of the mandolin because this is an octave mandolin so it, it's a mix of uh, both shapes which are both uh, traditional but this one is a mix of both of them so uh, I want to thank you guys for uh, stopping by and having a look and uh, uh, the next step will be to use that half side view to create a template uh, acrylic template to uh, uh, build the jig for the instrument Thanks again. I'll see you next time.